Hello, I'm Steve Weissel, Gardle Rider with the Vancouver Sun. I'm here today to start my sweet pea trial project. What I'm going to do is trial various sweet peas and see which ones perform the best. Now I've got most of these from uh, Rene's Garden in California. Um, so I'm going to try ones that grow in window boxes or in containers like this one, which is a uh, color palette Cupid. And I've got some short, what they call knee highs. They only grow um, three to five feet high, which I'm going to try in some containers. Again, I've got some Jack and Jill. They're very good ones from Rennie's Garden. Explorer mix. And I also have some McFadden's uh, seeds to try. Lime and lemon. Sounds fantastic. Uh, what else we got? Incense. A couple of incense. Uh, spicy mix. Don't know what that is. And Gwendolyn, got a couple of packets of Gwendolyn. So these ones I'm going to grow in containers with a uh, with a trellis system. These ones are going to go in a small pot. Uh, and then I've got some ones that grow six to eight feet high. And they're um, these are various kinds. This is one of some of the most fragrant ones, like April uh, April in Paris. And uh, Jewels of Albion, and uh, then there's just some regular ones that go. Some of them are uh, uh, just beautiful colors, actually. Not great fragrance, but fantastic colors. Velvet Elegance, uh, here's one, North Shore, Queen of Hearts. So, got to try these in various places around the garden, trying to obey the rules. Good air circulation, good soil, fertile soil, and also a uh, nice sunny location. So let's go and see how, how I do with getting these in the ground. So this is the first part of my sweet pea project. I've assembled all the old and disused pots that I have, containers that I'm going to grow the short ones in, and uh, also some trellising that I found, different trellises. And because I know sweet peas like fertile soil, I've got some sea soil to use and also I'm going to mix it with some uh, regular potting mix so it's a nice airy mix. Okay one of the ideas that we uh, were told by the experts about growing sweet peas is that you can do two things to promote uh, rapid germination. One is to soak them overnight but you don't want to soak them too long maybe eight hours is too long or so. The other way is to take a, a pair of uh, nail clippers and to nick the side of each pea. So here's Lorraine, my, my wife, uh, trying to do that. She says it's not very easy, uh, a very finicky job. Uh, maybe you get better at it, but uh, I, I think she's succeeding in nicking the sweet peas. We're gonna try some nicked, some without being nicked, and some soaked, and we'll just see which method works. But they, I can see they are being nicked. You're doing a good job there, darling. Okay, here's the first little container we're doing. This is called, uh, we're going to put Cupid's uh, palette in this one. It's a little container. That's the kind of look, apparently, that you, you get. Uh, let's see now. 8 to 10 inches high, which is not too bad. And uh, the seed have been, have been nicked. They're all nicked. and So these are nick seed. You can see the little nicks. I don't know whether you can, but they've got little nicks in them and that will help them absorb water faster we'll just put them in here we go one there's lots here so I'm going to spread them all in here I think this is going to be some container I suspect there'll be some failure rate so uh, we'll put them all in and then weed out if it gets overcrowded. So the next ones we're going to do are knee highs. This is Jack and Jill. These types grow only about three to three and a half feet and I'm going to use a trellis in this little pot to support them. Um, the trellis is about mm, four feet high so it should be fine if they grow a little taller. Now sweet peas need to go about one inch deep so I'm going to place these around. Uh, these ones have not been nicked and they haven't been uh, soaked so we're just going to test see how these ones do without any nicking without test, uh, soaking or anything again just placing them all the way around about 
half an inch deep and then I'm going to top with a little top saw and just spacing them I'm using the whole packet okay so I've done all the uh, containers with the trellises now I'm planting in the garden and I'm this is a clematis trellis that I have here and I'm going to put some sweet peas right at the side of it uh, the sweet peas hopefully will grow with the clematis and we'll have a little bit of each so what I've done is I've done a little trench and I've got some nice uh, soil mix here just to put in the trench it's a combination of mix of soils to make it a nice fertile and light mix and now here are the seeds so I'll put the seeds in again just first of all sprinkle them on the top see where they fall make sure that they're nice and evenly spaced and then I will press them in I'm doing this all throughout the garden finding places that are sunny some that are part sunny and uh, hopefully we'll get a great mix of uh, sweet peas in summer okay, this is the last uh, place that I'm going to sow sweet peas in this very sunny uh, west facing border uh, it gets a little shade in the afternoon I've got this beautiful bird trellis I'm going to sow the most fragrant sweet peas here uh, in uh, April uh, in Paris and some other ones nearby so that when we're coming down the driveway we really enjoy the fragrance so I hope you'll join me in this quest the sweet pea quest to fill gardens with gorgeous color and fabulous fragrance this summer uh, I will be letting you know how my projects work out and I wish you every success with your projects please let me know send me your photographs tell me how you're doing and uh, I'll see you next time. Thanks for visiting. Bye.